What's up, Dodgers Nation? It's the 3 Up 3 Down podcast, and on this episode, I'm asking the question if the Dodgers need to trade for a slugger this summer, and if so, who should they go out and get? Welcome back to the 3 Up 3 Down podcast. My name is Eric Ulo, your host for this Dodgers Nation production. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram. That is at E-E-U-L-A-U. If you haven't already, I would suggest you subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. really helps us all out here. And also, I want to hear from you guys down below in the comments. Do you think the Dodgers need to trade for another bat this summer? And if so, who should they go out and get? I got five names here that I think can help the Dodgers if they go down that route of grabbing another bat. And for all of you thinking, Eric, their lineup's loaded. What the hell are you talking about? The last couple weeks has not exactly been loaded from an offensive perspective. Obviously, you have Max Muncy on the IL. Justin Turner's heating up, but Cody Bellinger has been ice cold. And look, team president Andrew Freeman and general manager Brandon Gomes have proven that if there is a big name out there that they think they can that can help the Dodgers win games, they're going to go out there and get him. And specifically, I think it's a hitter. It needs to be a hitter that ha- that can hit left-handed pitching. The Dodgers are 10th in weighted runs created plus against lefties. They're first against righties. 10's not bad, but this team is going for a championship. And you need to have a full lineup that can hit lefties. So, the first name is probably the biggest name, and that is J.D. Martinez, the designated hitter for the Boston Red Sox. A couple years ago, you can never even think about this because Martinez is so god-awful in the field. But if you look at his stats, look, he has a 956 lifetime OPS versus left-handed pitching. Yes, he is 34 years old. But look, he's a free agent after this year. This is a Manny Machado situation. You throw in some mid-level prospects. You go out there, you get J.D. Martinez. Perhaps you move Max Muncy over to second base, you play JT a little more at third, and you put JD in that designated hitter spot. But I think JD Martinez would be a huge pickup for this Dodgers team. And we'll stick on the Boston train for now. Everyone loves some Bean Town, right? Just kidding. None of us in Los Angeles do. But anyway, Xander Bogarts also like Martinez, a Scott Boris guy, so you know he ain't sticking around. But look, he has a player option after this season. He wants an extension. The Red Sox haven't given it to him. He's making $20 million right now. He's signed through 2026, but he does have that player opt-out. Three-time All-Star, four-time Silver Slugger, a lifetime 853 OPS versus left-handed pitching. Another guy that can hit left-handed pitching. Now, what do you do with Trey Turner then? The Dodgers have proven that they'll go out and get another shortstop, even though they already have an all-star shortstop. Now, is that going to make Trey Turner happy, asking him to move, or asking Bogarts to play third, which he hasn't played since 2014? Probably not, but if it's a short-term deal, if it is a Manny Machado situation, and you ask him, hey, Xander, you're the X-Factor, you're going to head over to third base for a little bit, or maybe you get him over to shortstop and you ask Trey again to play second base and you kind of know that maybe we're not going to re-sign Trey anyway and he's just going to compartmentalize it all and just keep playing baseball so we don't need to worry about pissing him off so much. The third name, a guy they just played, the Washington Nationals, Josh Bell. Now, Josh Bell was an all-star in 2019, 116 RBI. He is a switch hitter and unfortunately he doesn't really hit left-handed pitching that well from really either side of the plate. He's better against righties as a left-handed batter. But look, he just hasn't had that slugging from the left-handed side of the plate. But this is a guy who has shown that he can produce in a lineup that had absolutely no one. That Pittsburgh lineup when he was an all-star was terrible. Imagine what he can do in this lineup. Once again, kind of a pure DH play there with Josh Bell. You ain't moving Freddie Freeman off of first base. Sorry. Unlike Trey, Freeman's under contract for years to come for this Dodgers team. Number four, a name they kind of kicked around a little bit in spring, a little bit, and a guy they saw in the NLCS, Mr. Jorge Soler, who's on the Marlins. He's under contract for multiple years, but he does have opt-outs after 2022 and 2023. So like Bogarts, like Martinez, like Josh Bell, you could lose this guy for nothing. Or the Dodgers can go fishing. Andrew Freeman loves just throwing a big old line out there and reel in a Josh Bell or a Xander Bogarts or a J.D. Martinez. So it's that the pitch is, hey, you're going to lose this guy for nothing. We need a bat that can hit lefties, and Jorge Soler does do that. He's slugging 556 against left-handed pitching, but he does have those opt-outs. And does Jorge Soler really think that the Marlins are going anywhere? And if not, maybe he's just happy making $12 million a year on a team that's not going anywhere. And the last one, this one's for the fans. This guy can't hit left-handed pitching, but he hits bombs. Everybody loves him. Jock Peterson. Now, would trading with the Giants be absolutely ludicrous? Yes. Yes, it would. But would it be great to have Jock Peterson back in our lives? DH. He was a, he's a decent fielder, but a little DH in there, a little outfield, you know, give Chris Taylor a spell every now and again. 
give Cody Bellinger a little break. I, I would love to see Jock back and maybe rewrite some wrongs from not signed to a one-year deal for $8 million. Getting Jock Pop back would just be would be a good thing for the fans. Now, is that going to happen? Probably not. But did I just want to talk about how awesome Jock Peterson was and how much I missed him? Yes. Yes, I did. So, for me, I'd go after J.D. Martinez first. Then I'd go after the X-Factor, Xander Bogart second. I'm going Jorge Soler third, Josh Bell fourth, and my unequivocal dream of a dream of a trade. You know, maybe just throw him like a a single-A pitcher that Farhan Zaidi really, really liked when he was on the Dodgers that's still in the Dodgers organization. I don't know. Just just get, get Jock back to L.A. That's what we need. But anyway... Drop down below in the comments, do the Dodgers need a trade for another slugger to help this roster? Now, personally, cards on the table, I'd ra- if they, between one or the other, if they can only do one deal, I'd rather they go out there and get a starter. It's what this team needs, maybe a bullpen piece. But it is interesting, this front office has a history of they will go out there and they will go get a Machado, they will go get a Trey Turner if they think it makes the team better and gets them closer to a championship. So drop down below in the comments, do they need a trade for a slugger? Who do you want to see him trade for? And thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.